to Famagusta. Now I will guide you in the walled city of Famagusta. If you look behind me, you will see a cathedral. This cathedral is called St. Nicholas Cathedral and it was built in the year of 1289 until 1312, which was completed. When the Ottomans came, they added minaret and converted into a mosque, as you can see. Nowadays, it's used as a mosque and it's known as Lala Mustafa Pasha Mosque. If you look a little further down, you see a statue. During the Ottoman period, the walled city of Famagusta was used as a place for exile. Many people were sent here for exile and one of them was the writer was known as Namak Kemal. If you look behind you, what you can see is a palace. When the Lusignan people came to Cyprus, they built one cathedral in Famagusta and one palace, and also the same thing, one cathedral and one palace in Nicosia. This is also known as Venetian Palace. First, if you look carefully, it's the Gothic type, same gate with the cathedral. Later on, Venetians made addition, they put their symbol upon it, and it's the typical Baroque type. There are many things that one can discover in Famagusta. All you have to do is just make a reservation and come to Famagusta, and I will guide you all around and show you the most interesting, most historical parts remaining from the old centuries until now. Thank you so much.